do you agree with most of the things that has been proposed by the IMF and is the IMF's proposal the way forward? I think IMF proposals are good. They are very difficult to, uh, you know, implement sometimes. But if whether it is IMF or otherwise, we will have to do this, right? Cost reflective price mechanism. That was a good idea. But no, now we are facing problems. But if the economy is all right, if the economy is doing right way, these things will will definitely good for us. And also corruption issues. Yes, we have amended the corruption commission and we have given them full powers. Yes, that is a good thing. And also we'll have to rethink about the uh, economic model that we are we are doing now and to change it to a different model. That is also one thing. So I have gone through all the 15 months. I don't see any of those is bad for us. But you have to, you have to renegotiate with them about the time frame. Right? Now we have 1.5 million public servants. Can we sustain with mm. that? Then what can we do? Let reduce. You can't just ask people to go out. Go out, yeah, exactly. So you have to do it in a phased manner. So that is what they're saying. So likewise, our banking sector has to have reforms. Uh, reforms. And you know, the biggest obstacle we are having is those some other trade unions. <laughs> so if you take railway, will they allow to do anything? We saw that in but, the port, no? But port everywhere. So you, but you have to do it. So I think government is one year. Uh, uh, they just don't thought about it for about one year. We're getting into next year is election year. Can we do that? Again, the handout. That's so again, what happens is country economy will fail. People will suffer. People will be angry. People will, in, in their own way, they will decide a kind of a revolutionary decision they will make. So those are very important. If you do it from the first day onwards, right, then what happens is we are getting results. <laughs>